Today's video is pretty cool, as you can probably tell by the Kyosho uh, box in the background. We've got a Kyosho vehicle. Um, actually, this is a two-part. It's an interesting story. I went to find one of these vehicles and couldn't, so I hopped on eBay and bought the first semi-complete listing I found, which was a slider. Um, this is actually a brand new, never assembled uh, version of what I'm about to show you today. So I got this with the 0 .10 Kyosho engine. Uh, you know, it needs wheels, tires, electronics, uh, the brake disc is missing, uh, throttle servos missing, etc, etc. Anyways, I've got this now, I guess, as spare parts, but the main, I guess, uh, centerpiece of today's video is this. Kyosho Wheelie Action Pedal Popper. This is a really strange looking car in my mind. Uh, got it here used in box, but it's a gas powered rear wheel drive. Came in four different styles there. Um, car, I guess, technically, even though it's more of a monster truck frame. Really nice album art, uh, box artwork. You'll notice when I take this out, that box artwork is not far off from what it actually looks like. There it is. That's a very, very cartoonish uh, looking car here. Uh, big old wing. Reminds me a little bit of an Acura Integra, I guess. Uh, this box with instructions contained within um, puts the date at 1998 on their recording. Also has a Futaba radio. This one is actually pretty much ready to run. Um, it's used, obviously. As you can probably tell from all the scuffs and scratches, like on the wing here, the back end's pretty beat up, but it's complete. Uh, 1998 pedal popper. <laughs> the other version was called the Hoppin' Mad. It was a truck body with a little wing on the back, but look at that. Look at that fitment. Oh, that's great fitment. Yes. The rears are obviously huge, super wide. These are very soft, slick rubber tires, very deep dish uh, wheels down in there. And it's a cool, kind of a, I don't know, integra looking body. Looking under the hood here, pretty simple layout. I was really surprised how little there is to this. Uh, fairly large gas tank, it's a 0 .10 engine. Um, it's rear mounted, so back from the rear wheels. The center of gravity is pretty much at the rear body post making this very, very wheelie happy. You'll notice how much it bounces there is mostly because the tires are pretty soft. There's no suspension, really. I mean, the, the front of the chassis flexes. I, I guess that's intentional because it runs into this little stop here. But there's, there's no, there's a very, very small spring on the front axle. It moves that much. That's it. <laughs> that's all she gets. So when you come down from a wheelie, just pulling pretty cool. Uh, old radio gear, I'll probably get rid of the receiver like usual. The battery tie down goes right here. Simple, just rubber band. Uh, transmission's not geared super low, but I'm not sure what's going on inside there either. And the sucker has a wheelie bar built into the engine mount. So a bolt there and a bolt up here for the engine. It's got a, it's got a little wheel. So you hold that action. Uh, air filter probably needs to be changed. Looks like it's missing an element. That's not a problem. Brake is pretty cool. This is very reminiscent of my uh, Losi Mini T where I just had a piece of fuel line kind of rubbing against the, uh, the clutch belt. This one actually rubs against the, the hub of the spur gear so the servo moves this way, puts pressure on this band that wraps around here and does braking. Which is more than enough. Boy. 
um, throttles the other direction, but you'll probably notice the throttle's not moving. So the bulk of this video is going to be uh, engine teardown because this engine is gummed up, unfortunately. Um, carburetor doesn't even open. But anyways, complete chassis, uncomplete chassis. Maybe we'll get a running car out of two of them. Worst case scenario, I can put this engine on the on the uh, completed car. I don't think that's going to be necessary though. I've had really good luck getting engines running again. So let's hop on over to my work table and we will get running, taking the engine off, taking it apart, cleaning it out, putting it back together and try to get it running. Okay, well, uh, engine's all cleaned up, sounds okay, and uh, we're going to see if, if I can get this thing started today. We've got a little splash of fuel here. This one, this tank has a primer button, so we're going to see if that does anything. It does not, but I can't say I honestly expected it to. The seals are probably just worn out in it. That's alright. Well, we're not priming either. Let's make sure the needles are open. Needle was closed pretty much all the way. Of course it was. I took it apart. So we're going out one, two, three turns. I bet you the prime button works now. There really isn't a low speed needle on this either. Yeah, look at that. Prime and fuel right there. Sure did. All right. Uh, the exhaust is going to spit all over. <laughs> a little bit are on. That glow plug was still good.
Boy, that is a treat. Um, interestingly, the fuel pressure return line fell off and started leaking all over the throttle servo here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll probably just replace the fuel line or put a tie on that to keep it from happening again. So, uh, yeah, I had not even tried to start that before I started this video. One pull. Clean the engine, put the igniter on, one pull. <laughs> that is, that's a record. I don't think I'll ever be able to do any better than that. Cool. It's together. It works. We'll, uh, tidy up this fuel line. Watch out for another video, you guys. Thanks for watching today, and uh, we'll see you next time.